Hello, welcome to the Mobilize Fall Winter 2019-2020 info session. My name is Dylan Dammerman. I'm the lead recruiter here at Mobilize Jobs. This info session is really just to let you know kind of how we work, what we're about, answer any questions that you might have about the Mobilize Jobs experience, and get you prepared for that possible interview. So let's just hop right in. Um, what is mobilized jobs? You applied for a job, you got this onboarding process, and now you're here. But what is mobilized jobs? We are a national tourism employment initiative. It's a lot of words. What it really means is that we hire people. We hire people to work in hospitality, in resorts, in restaurants, usually on a seasonal basis. We work with American employers who are looking for that American employee, that person who is ready to travel the country, figure out what works for them, and work while they're doing it. Um, we work with employers who are invested in recruiting American talent and also providing that American experience. Uh, we kind of market ourselves as a travel and adventure job. That really just means that we have jobs all over the states and we really encourage you to go where your heart desires. Uh, that means that we have lots of adventurous locations like uh, Aspen in the winter and Cape Cod in the summer. We really go to those all-American tourism destinations and help find you work there. We offer short and long-term contracts. So what that means is we would love you to join us for a season. That's a six-month work term. Our winter season, for instance, is starting right now, and that goes until the end of April usually. And then their summer season starts the beginning of May, usually goes till the end of October. Each season is its own contract, but if you like the work, if you enjoy the process, if you want to go on another adventure, we encourage you to join us for another season. There's always the opportunity to transfer to a new location once you've completed your contract. I know we have mobilizers in the field right now who are coming for a winter season who have been with us for the last year and a half. In Canada, we have employees who have been with us since 2015, our first season. Um, but we're really about creating that experience while you are also working. So that means that you will meet new people, you will have new experiences. Since it's winter, you will learn how to ski probably. You will be in those fun destinations. Like I just mentioned, we are going into our 12th season. It's very exciting. Uh, our first season was, if you look in the corner, the beautiful dog in the hat. That was our first season, 2015. We've grown a lot since then. Uh, we have a partner program in Canada uh, for all the Canadian citizens, and that started in 2015. We are going into our 12th season, so everyone who's out in the field right now, they were part of season 11. And then we are going through to season 12 this year. I know I keep saying that, it's just really exciting. This has been an ongoing process, and we are just a huge family here. You'll see more pictures later, but really we are about that sharing experience, that big employee family experience. So, kind of started in on this, but what are you doing here? What is Mobilize Jobs? We are, in essence, an employer. We offer full-time paid contracts. Typically, they're six months long, and you have guaranteed hours for those six months. Uh, there's never any fees to mobilize jobs. You should never pay for a job. It's unethical. It's not a great look. The only thing that you would ever have to pay for in the mobilized program is your travel to your location and possibly a criminal record check that we would We'll talk about that a little bit later, but those are not things that you pay to mobilize jobs. We never take any money from our employees. Um, really, it's about getting you work. We, full disclosure, are hired by the hotels, restaurants, and resorts to fill their vacancies. So we don't get paid unless we find you a happy, healthy work environment where you want to stay. Um, 
we always negotiate with our employers, our placements to have housing for you. So no worrying about finding that Airbnb for a week until you find your new home. There will always be housing available to you on site or nearby with the placement partner. Um, speaking of placement partners, since we operate in so many different states, the, the pay rate is going to be different. Uh, we hire all sorts of roles. On the resort side, we hire housekeepers, maintenance, front desk, uh, general resort attendants. Then on the kitchen side, we hire everything from dishwashers, kitchen stewards, prep cooks, line cooks, sous chefs, uh, conference porters, servers, really anything that you find in a hotel, resort, or restaurant, we have probably placed someone there. Uh, so the wage rate is definitely different depending on what role you're in and what state you're in. We always guarantee that if there's a housing deduction, you will always be taking home at least state minimum after that housing deduction uh, and before any kind of tip out possibility. So I just want you to know that you will have housing and it will not eat your whole paycheck. Uh, we also always encourage if you have a friend or a family member that you want to take this adventure with, let us know when you get to the interview stage, say, hey, I have a friend or I really want to travel with my brother. Guarantee your interviewer will be excited. They'll ask you their name and kind of let you know the onboarding process when you travel as a group. But the thing is, we always have a limited number of placements. So we want to make sure that if you are traveling with family, with a friend, we want to know that as soon as possible so that we can be honest with you about what roles are available, what we might have for you. Some of our favorite mobilizers are brother, sister teams or couples. We have had, I believe we are about to expect our fourth mobilized baby, which is couples who were in the program who then, uh, when they left, decided to have children. It's really exciting. We don't promise that there'll be any romance or marriages, but we're always happy that our program has kind of brought these families together a little bit. I know we talk a lot about travel, about the fact that, let's say you're in Miami and we want to send you to Utah for the winter, but you don't necessarily have to move states. If we have a position in your state and you're like, Dylan, I just don't have the finances right now, but here's as far away from home as I think I can get. We take that into account. Uh, we always encourage you to try a, a new thing, try a new experience, but we understand that sometimes you just need to find that work. If it's close to home, that's fair. If we have something, we'll always consider you for it. We just prefer the honesty. Let us know. We're not going to hold it against you. If we have something and you're a good fit, we will not hold a job back from you. Uh, this is just kind of going back to the housing. It does vary from location to location. We always guarantee that there will be no more than two people sharing a room. I've heard horror stories from uh, some of our mobilizers who worked in hostels and <laughs> shared dorms with 14 other people. That's not the situation here. Uh, typically, our, our rooms are what we like to call dorm room style, kind of go back to that college energy and adventure. But uh, typically, two people share a room. Sometimes that's a beautiful log cabin. Sometimes it's a one bedroom apartment and sometimes it is established staff housing. It's really different location to location, but the way that we work, you would always have an opportunity to see pictures of housing and get more details about each specific position before you decided if you were interested. I know it's a lot of information, but we're, we're gonna get through it. This is the key points who can apply. Most of our applicants are between the ages of 21 and 30. And that that is not a limitation. Some of my favorite people, actually, we're going to see some pictures of them later on, are these two wonderful women who are kind of their kids have left home, they're on their second career, they actually met and became best friends in the program. This year, I personally have interviewed so many people in that kind of 40 to 60 range. Our CEO, Ben, likes to tell his favorite story about uh, the 
two bartenders in their 70s who we had in Canada who were just flair bartending, having the time of their life. So if you are over 30, do not despair. If you're in it for the adventure and for the work, then we want to have you. The only restriction on age is that you do have to unfortunately be over 21 for our housing because it is part of the program just for liability reasons. I know it's not fun, but we do require that you're over 21 to participate. Second thing, this is super important. You have to legally be able to work in America. What does that mean? That means if you have citizenship, if you have a green card, if you have a work permit, permanent residency status, those are all great. We would love to see your application. Come on, we're excited. Unfortunately, at this time, we do not qualify to sponsor employees in the United States. So if you are looking for a sponsor, I encourage you to reapply once you have completed that process. At this time, we are unable. Um, that also doesn't mean if you have a work permit in hand, but you are in another country, that's fine. We just have more things that we have to talk about during the interview. A clear criminal record. So what we do is we request a criminal record check once you are done your interview process. If you're accepted into the program, we require proof that you are seeking a criminal record check. Um, really, again, this is for housing and it doesn't necessarily exclude you if you do have a prior conviction. If it's an older conviction, if it's something that you're looking to get expunged, great. Let us know in the interview. We respect honesty so much more uh, than we are discouraged by a criminal record check. Um, I know I'm always disappointed when someone tells me, great, there's no problem. And then I find out later that they didn't tell me about their criminal record. I'm a very understanding person. We take each person on a case by case basis. If you have a record that does not necessarily exclude you from work, for instance, if you had a DUI six or seven years ago, that might not exclude you if you've uh, kind of done your time, that sort of thing. Uh, but it means that we can't consider you for roles where you would be driving a shuttle bus every day. So we respect the honesty more than we're worried about the criminal records. So if you do have one, tell us in your interview. Uh, it's a great thing to get out of the way just to kind of know what kind of opportunities are still open to you with us. Here we have that we require a high school graduate or equivalent like a GED um, in adult education in college. Really, this is just to prove that you have some staying power. I know for most of us, high school or a GED is gonna be the most structured thing we do in our lives. It's four years or less with a GED of intense pressure. Um, and we wanna know that you have the power to kind of stay. If you have six years work experience at the same employer, I honestly feel like that shows the same initiative. Uh, but we just want proof that like you are the kind of person who, when going gets tough, you commit to something and you're ready to commit to this adventure. The last thing, positive attitude and a thirst for adventure. Unlike other jobs, we really are looking for someone who has the right personality fit to travel. We want to know if you get to an interview, we want to know that you have considered the realities of travel, that you understand how much it costs to travel, that you might miss your family on uh, holidays, that special bagel spot or coffee shop, I'm not going to have access to it. Just that positive attitude, you're going to get through this, but also you're going to get homesick. That's really the biggest thing that we see with all of our employees. It's a big adventure. It's a lot of fun. Most of the time you're too busy to think that you're homesick, whether you're making new friends or out on the slopes. Um, but you really have to have that staying power and that follow through. Where am I going to be going? Okay, so we have opportunities across the states and a sister program in Canada, as mentioned earlier. In the winter, most of our opportunities are going to be in the mountains. They're going to be ski resorts. They're going to be Aspen. They're going to be Utah. They're going to be Colorado. They are going to be those winter sport adventure locations. In the summer, typically we recruit more in the Northeast. It's kind of a big shift there, but we're really a mountains and beaches kind of crew here. 
um, we do we are always working on new opportunities so even if you get through the process and we say thank you so much you're on our wait list we genuinely are looking to get that job for you we have not forgotten you even if it's a couple weeks typically it's not but we are always adding new locations um, this is an important point you will always be the person to choose your placement in our process while jobs do go quickly while former mobilizers those people who are in the field right now do get first pick of the jobs you always get to see all the pertinent information remember i mentioned those pictures of housing uh, you'll need details about exactly where you'd want to go we never just send people places that's kind of uh, a short-term staffing model that we don't like here we want you to pick your adventure we want you to be bought in um, again this is the strong american businesses looking for american employees uh, of course there's always an opportunity to work with international workers but we are looking for that great American experience. You're gonna be other mobilizers, you're gonna be with other people who are kind of doing their thing on their adventure. I mentioned this earlier, we are mostly in the hospitality and tourism industry. So that means we are looking for people who wanna grow their career in hotels and resorts and restaurants. Whether you're a dishwasher who wants to grow into a sous chef, or a housekeeper or a babysitter who wants to become a housekeeper. Really, it's all about that adventure, getting there and the next steps of your career. The last one, first come, first served. We recruit all year long for all of our seasons, but at the beginning of the season, we want you to run. We want you to be excited. We want you to get your references in. Uh, if you're accepted for an interview and then accepted into the program, we do request three references. Have them ready. Just have those email addresses and names on hand, just so you know, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for my adventure. These are the lovely ladies I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Misty, oh, they had so much fun this summer in uh, Nantucket. They, one of them actually drove across the US on her motorcycle to get to this placement from California. These are just kind of some of our summer locations, things to look forward to. And then what will you be doing? Talked about this already, but happy to go over it again. We are hiring all sorts of hospitality, tourism, and restaurant jobs. Most of the jobs in the winter are gonna be back of house with the opportunity to move to front of house in the summer. Uh, we like to cross train. So like I mentioned, if you are that dishwasher who wants to be a sous chef, often there'll be the opportunity for you to do some prep work for you to get ready and build your career. Same with the, the housekeeper or the houseman who wants to become a lead housekeeper who wants to move to front desk. Often, if you are enthusiastic, our employers are enthusiastic to cross-train you. This is Legarius. He is one of our current mobilizers. He has been to a couple locations to, uh, with us. He's been to Martha's Vineyard. He's been to Woods Hole. Um, this is really just to say that we support our employees. We want you to come back. We want you to enjoy your experience. We support you if you only want to do a season with us. But we have some of those heroes who really we will fight to have you come back and join us for another season because we're such a big family here. This is kind of some of the winter experiences that I wanted to show you. Um, you got the Merry Christmas skiing during the holidays. Some of our locations actually offer ski passes as a benefit to the employees. Um, really, every time you join us on one of our placements, we are a big family, a big team, and we love to have you come out, do some fun activities. Sometimes we have contests and we will sponsor doing some of these activities, taking ski lessons, doing dog sledding. It's really a fantastic opportunity. This is really what it's all about, guys. Those mountains, that winter view, seeing yourself there in a work experience, but also an adventure and an opportunity to do something fun this winter. So I just wanna thank you again for joining us. Here's a little bit more information about our CEO, Ben. He's the gentleman in the 
MV Times page. You can see them right at the front. Um, this is our phone number. This is the email to contact me if you have further questions. I really look forward to possibly interviewing some of you and I'm excited for you to join our program. Thank you so much for sitting through this whole thing and someone will reach out to you soon once you finish the little quiz to talk about interviews.